For decades, a professor at Harvard Medical School named Norman Zinberg did path-breaking research on drugs, drugs in the mind, drugs in medicine. He mentored people like Andy Weil and many other scholars in much the same way that Robin Room has. We named the award for achievement in the field of, of really of medicine, a medicine defined broadly in his honor. In order to present this award, I want to call up one of my colleagues, Laura Thomas, the director of our San Francisco office, a national leader on HIV and hepatitis. Laura, come on up. So the, uh, this award uh, is going to Dan Big, who is, he is so popular that people who couldn't be here today wanted to congratulate him. So I think we have a very short video from Pat Denning from the Harm Reduction Therapy Center uh, and congratulations that she wanted to extend. Hey, Dan. I am so sorry that I can't be there tonight to watch you get a much deserved reward um, and, and to hug you and clap for you. You've been an incredibly important person in my life for oh, many years. It, you know, it was you who first taught me that we could actually help people manage their drug use by actively working with them to develop safe strategies. And you called it substance use management and, and it's now a cornerstone of the work that I do. Um, you were the person who taught me about this and you mentored me through um, all of my learning process. So I really love you and appreciate you and I'm so happy you're getting this award. So this is a box of naloxone hydrochloride. How many people in the room know what this is? All right, how many of you carry this with you on a daily basis? How many of you have used this to save someone's life or have had your life saved by this? So the reason that we have naloxone hydrochloride in the hands of people who use drugs is because of Dan Big and the folks who worked with him at the Chicago Recovery Alliance, who were the first people to put naloxone which, as we know, reverses opioid overdoses and saves lives into the, directly into the hands of the people best suited to reverse overdoses, people who use drugs themselves. Dan didn't invent naloxone, but he brought it to us and is responsible for hundreds and hundreds and thousands of lives saved here in the United States. Um, So, and Dan and the Chicago Recovery Alliance have also redefined recovery as any positive change, as any step in the right direction. Um, and so, for all of these reasons, um, and because he's awesome, uh, we want to give this award to Dan Big from the Chicago Recovery Alliance. It's wonderful to be recognized by DPA and all the people in this room that have taken risks for so long, for so many reasons, all to help. And uh, really, uh, anyone that has gotten naloxone, uh, taught somebody about it, given it to them, and then started uh, soaking in the stories of the lives that were saved in Chicago and many other places that you exist. Overdose is not the pet, never used in the past tense. It's always the presence because the person is still alive more and more. There's still goals. We have to get rid of the stigma that prevents someone from using around it others. <laughs> when the time comes that you can talk about your heroin use as you would your hemorrhoids or your <laughs> acne, 
we will be there. We have a ways to go, and in the meantime, uh, this medicine helps a great deal. I just want to give a special recognition to the Drug Policy Alliance, Linda Smith Center, Drug Policy Foundation, etc. Ethan, Glenn Backus, Jean-Paul Grund. I arrived at the Linda Smith Center in 1997 or 8 to do a presentation on hepatitis C, and I dropped by some naloxone to these guys, and they're saying, what is this guy doing leaving a controlled substance in my office? Is this the beginning of a sting, the DEA, and so forth? Anyway, they looked at it, they thought about it, and they put on the first conference. How many remember this first conference in Seattle in 2000? This is the beginning of the movement, really, and because it isn't just an idea. I mean, count, I'm assuming in 25 years of having a pure antidote, one doctor would have figured out this was a good idea, but he or she never came forward to do it. But the Linda Smith Center, the Ethan uh, Drug Policy Alliance, they're here for us to do this, and I so appreciate it. For everyone in this room that reaches others with OD prevention, this is what we call your 502B retirement plan. There's no money involved, but there is an afterlife which you wouldn't believe. So thank you very much.